Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit today about um, when we start feeling like we want to leave the planet. So this is something that I know a lot of us are experiencing sometimes where we just get so overwhelmed with emotions, like especially in the dark night of the soul or when there's these major um, activations, Schumann resonance spikes, it's like overwhelming. And we're going through our rebirth right now. And in order to go through the rebirth, we also have to go through death of the identity or aspects of the identity or of the ego. And it can feel like part of you is dying. So not only are you challenged emotionally and things are coming up that have never been seen before, you know, you're exposing the inner um, dark spots to light. And we end up having these moments where it feels unbearable. So as we go through these breakdowns and we discover these parts of ourselves that were hidden, we have to acknowledge that there's something that maybe is out of alignment. Now, when things are out of alignment, we get really uncomfortable. Things get a little bit challenging. They get hard. Things get difficult. That's what I talk about like when you're not on your the path to your soul's greatest expression, you know? So when we have these moments that uh, there's multiple different things that come into play like I said the Schumann resonance um, you know ascension waves coming in cosmic frequencies light code activations and we end up getting a little bit um, frazzled is the word I'm gonna use and a lot of you are feeling frazzled right now so sometimes though we end up having those moments where we're like forget about this I'm leaving this planet. I can't take another day of this. Well, that actually serves to make change. That's one of those feelings that instigates change. You know, that's where you're just unwilling to continue on any further with the energies that were existing before, right? So it's a catalyst. Now, the scary part about it is when you hit that dark spot within yourself or that depth that makes you feel like you just can't keep going. You know, we all have those moments where we feel like we can't keep going, but we have to keep going. So think about this. When we go through a major activation, we've got the Schumann resonance spikes, the cosmic waves coming in, we've got crazy stuff going on in society. You know, we're looking around the world and just like, you know, thinking like, holy smokes, what is going on on planet Earth? Um, when we get into that space, we have the collective breakdowns, right? So we have our own individual breakdowns, but then we also have the collective breakdowns. Now these collective breakdowns feel really terrible for a lot of us at the same time. So when these activations take place, all these new people start waking up, people start going into the dark night of the soul, and we all start feeling it because we're shifting into that unity consciousness like I talked about before. As we shift more and more into unity consciousness, we feel each other more and more. That's part of being consciously connected to each other, to where we we can, um, you know, have telepathy, things like that, where we can communicate without needing the Wi-Fi and things like that. We are our own Wi-Fi. That's what we're shifting into, being able to just connect with each other on that level. Yes, it is possible, and we are moving into that. And so for a lot of you who are just exhausted, you know, you're like, I just don't want to do another day of this. I've been doing my inner work. We're all doing our inner work and we're all holding space for each other because we are in this together. Whether we want to be or not, that's where we're at. And so putting your best foot forward, you know, showing up as your best, even if that's frazzled and haggard, just show up and do your best because nobody can ask any more of you. When you're showing up and being your best and you're being authentic and being real, people see that. And that's what we need. That's inspiring to each other, you know? We inspire each other. We lift each other higher by sharing our experiences, by showing up first and being willing to expose ourselves. I pretty much throw myself under the bus every day, you know, every day that I get on here and do these videos. I'm exposing myself, you know, and it's okay. I don't mind because I love you guys. It's totally worth it to connect with all of you guys to let you know what I'm going through and just to just be real. And I know that in my sharing, it helps a lot of you get through these moments. And so in your sharing, you're helping other people. So I'm one person and there's a circle around me. 
and then you're one person and there's a circle around you and we all start to overlap and interconnect. And so when you are doing your best, and even if you have a judgment about yourself that I could be doing better, you know, that's a slippery slope, so be pretty careful with that. We could all always be doing better, you know? But the thing is, we're here dealing with so many different energies, going through this awakening that is shifting energies every day. Like, it, talk about unstable, you know? As a collective, we're unstable. That makes us unstable as individuals. There are a few people out there that are not super connected and tapped in to the fluctuating energies and they're able to generate and hold that space. That's what we're all moving into as well. So we become these activation units. We become these charged beings that create this aura of light. And within that aura of light, we're able to not only heal ourselves and generate, manifest, do what we need to do and want to do, but we also start activating others. So we're starting to activate everywhere we go. When you hold that light, that high vibe, that frequency that, that lifts people up, that's exactly what you do. You walk around then and you start lifting people up. So this is something that I'm asking you guys today. Suspend all judgments about yourself not being good enough or something being wrong with you or just something being wrong. When we look at that though, then we are creating a point of view that something is wrong and then you're actually gonna start feeling like something's wrong and you lower your vibration. But when you're willing to explore whatever the energies are and let them move through, you become this being that's really fluid with energy. And when we get these attachments, we start to create some type of resistance to flow and then we also create um, pain, suffering, sadness, all of that stuff comes from attachments. So practicing non-attachment is a really powerful way to stand in your truth and in the energies of who you really are as this infinite divine being. You know, with, with your divinity, with your, you know, infinite aspects. We don't need to hold on to things in a way that is restricting or limiting. We came here to expand, to explore, to see what's possible. 